This is a really nice portable power station by Blue Eddy. It is 700 watts, which means it's good for most electronic things, but it's not quite powerful enough for appliances or power tools or things like that. Let me show you what you get out of the box and go through all the features, and then I'll talk about what I do and don't like about this portable power station. This is the Blue Eddy portable power station. So it's 700 watts and you get about 700 watt hours as well. So that means you charge a laptop computer Computer that uses 100 watts for seven hours. So let's have a look at this. One thing you'll notice that handles come up like this. I think that's kind of a weird design choice. Not necessarily a huge fan of that, but I do like that it has wireless charging up top. Now, if we press this button here, it will turn the display on so that we can see what is going on. If I press it again, it will turn on DC. So these are now active, all the USB is active. And then wireless charging up on top is active as well so if i put my phone up there it will charge wirelessly you can see it's just starting to charge and you can see it is using eight watts of power so that's nice to have that information input currently at nothing now with this portable power station you do get a solar cable these are all barrel plugs for charging you get the car adapter as well so if you want to plug it into your car and charge it and then it comes with this power supply this is <laughs> it's pretty big so let's let's go ahead and plug it in and one thing you'll notice with this so the light turns on there's also a fan in here so it is kind of loud all the time when you are using that so something to be aware of but we'll go ahead and plug it in here and then as soon as I plug it in you'll see the inputs gonna start going up and then the fan goes on on the blue blue eddy as well so as far as percentage charge it just has these level indicators to let you know what percent it's charged at so it doesn't give you an exact exact percent it just does it at 20 percent increments if we look at the ports so you've got two USB-C both of these can power up to 100 watts that would be for a laptop computer or something like that then you've got your USB-A ports and a couple barrel plugs and then you can have this adapter so if you want to plug in something that usually you plug into a car adapter and then you've got these five AC plugs so let's go ahead and turn on the AC and we'll plug in a light over here and now we can see that we've got 91 watts watts of power now unfortunately the display doesn't tell us how much time we have left so you just kind of have to gauge what power you're using based on the watt hours that this has and the percentage level that there is there's also a light in the back so you just press and hold to turn it on and then it will come on it's not super bright but you know it's a light and then press and hold to turn it back off. For the most part, I really like the design for this portable power station. Everything works really well. If you plug in something with DC power, it will stay on 24 seven. So this is really nice. I've set it up in my shed, have a USB thermometer, and it stays on all the time as long as this has power. There's a lot of other portable power stations that if it's not drawing enough power, it will shut down. Now for AC, that is the case. So if you turn on AC, if it's drawing enough power, it will just stay on till it dies and I, I did that accidentally one night leaving the light on it worked just fine going throughout the night but if it's not drawing a lot of power with AC on it will automatically turn off to conserve power so depending on how you want to use things that could be a good thing or a bad thing for the most part I appreciate that it turns off to conserve power but on DC it will stay on all the time so I can plug in USB devices I don't have to worry about it turning off. That's really nice. This seems to be designed for electronic devices. I like that it has the portable charging up top and overall having all the ports on the front side make things really convenient and easy to use. If I had to come up with one complaint, it would easily be the display. I do not like that it just has a 20% a bar to show you what level it's at. Realistically, every portable power station should show the exact percentage and then when you're using it, it should show how much time is left to charge or how much time is left till it's empty. That's pretty centered on most portable power stations. So I am a bit disappointed that that is not the case for this one. As I mentioned, I put this in my shed where it gets really hot. It's here clocked at 114 degrees. It's gotten hotter than that. This does well in pretty extreme temperatures. It's also nice to have in a car or a van. My family recently took a trip to the Great Salt Flats and I took this along with us so that I could keep all my boys' tablets charged. 
the long drive and so it was nice that they could play on their tablets and use this to keep everything fully charged. This was sent to me so I could do this video review and hopefully what I have shared has helped you know if this is good for you or not. Overall, I do think it is a good portable power station. I wish that the display was a bit better, but it's totally usable as is. For a 700 watt portable power station, it works really well. I like the design. It's a good portable power station. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.